Good morning, Rich here. It's Weekend Workshop. So what have I got on the go this week? Well, I've been a busy little boy doing lots of repairs and lots of most of my cars this week. So we're not quite as busy as normal. But first on the cards is my Axial SMT10 uh, Max D. I've got an overdrive gear here, which is uh, gonna be fitted to the rear. I've already fitted the overdrive gear to the front. Um, my sound overdrive on the front, normal gear on the back. Um, but that is the combination that supposedly stops the car from squatting so much. But um, I'm slightly concerned on, on a balance of the thing overall. So I'm going to try fitting the overdrive gear to the front. More to the point now. We've got the metal upgraded spur gear for it. Because one of the, the backflip video, which you may have seen, if not, if you've not seen that video, do check it out. Um, it stripped the plastic spur gear on here. So I've been waiting this for, for this to come in from now for about seven to ten days. That's finally come. So that's the first thing I'm going to get fed. And we're going to see more of this truck this week. I've got a few bits of wood. Been busy building a few ramps. Let's see. Okay. Well, next up, Tamiya Dancing Rider. I'm going to fit an uprated spring to the front of this. Because uh, when it leans into the corners, this wheel kinks over. But doesn't feel that spring. It is self-centering, but it's not as strong as I feel it should be. So I'm going to upgrade that. I think... We, that should improve, hopefully, it's high speed handling. I'm also going to put the drift tyres back on this week, reconnect the drift gyro, and finally, all being well, get rid of that cogging issue. Many thanks to everyone uh, that's commented as to what might be causing the cogging issue. I think I'm going to order a new ESC for this this week, uh, try that on, and see if that solves the problem. If it does, then I predict this is going to be wheelie central and drift central with these tyres on. Well, further down the counter, I've got my jet boat, so I'm going to take the camera off. Let's have a look at that. Well, this is my jet boat project. Hopefully, I'm going to play around there with this in the swimming pool later on this week. Finally got the drive installed, drilled a hole in there. So I'm going to be able to fit that steering mechanism through there. I'm going to use one of the small micro servos that I bought from my Amazon After Hours purchase, which are proving too small for anything else, but should be able to fit that in the boat. I tried this with a car ESC fitted to it the other night and very nearly uh, set fire to the boat and probably myself in the house. Um, the thing overheated within seconds. It was absolutely red hot uh, to the charge. I was holding it in one hand and it suddenly started to burn my fingers. Anyway, so we uh, cut that off and that is dispatched to the I've got anywhere. I've got a spare ESC which will land a lot more current that the motor's obviously drawing down on. Turn it over. Got a couple of little holes to fill in underneath in there and a little bit of sanding down to tidy up but the jet drive is fitted in and it okay. does. Got the uh, rested electrical gear in terms of the receiver uh, and the uh, ESC sat there so uh, that should all be installed this week and hopefully we will play with this by the end of the week. Okay next up over there I've got the e Revo. The drive shaft on the rear on the same side has come out for the fourth time. It is just baffling me as to why the thing keeps popping out. Yeah, sure, I've been doing some big jumps and put it through abuse. But why the same drive shaft four times just on the rear? None of the other drive shafts, any problem whatsoever. Anyway, let's head over and have a look at that. Okay, so I have put the, uh, the rear drive shaft in. It's the one on this side that keeps popping out. This wheel, every single time, that's the one that pops out. Nothing breaks on the car, just the drive shaft just pops out. Anyway, you might see on the side here, I've got the uh, rear wing mount, which sort of acts as a roll bar, if you like, uh, because this one is uh, cracked and it's looking uh, a little bit on the iffy side now. Uh, RPM, I was hoping, would bring one out, but I've not been able to find one on their website as yet. If anyone could point me in the right direction to uh, attract the C-Revo 2.0 VXL um, rear wing mount made by somebody like RPM, a beefier one, then I would be most appreciative. Now, you will notice there are no batteries in the e Revo, one of the batteries is the here. other one is here the reason that i sound slightly unhappy is both of these have died this week within three days of each other and when i say died they've just gone completely dead look the packs aren't swollen they're not puffy at all uh, and i love my Alex batteries to bits they give loads of punch um they're simply getting a cell error and neither of them will charge i've got three different battery chargers and different balance boards etc nothing it, it's just not happening they're not charging they are completely dead um one had a cell error on and one simply completely lost power was using it in the car the car suddenly stops check the battery there is no power coming out of there check the connections on there everything seems fine so uh, i had no choice but to buy two new batteries more on that this coming week what could they be have i bought onyx ones again no i haven't but I'm going to do a battery test on these new 3S ones this week. And uh, 
Anyway, I'm not going to open these right now. I'm going to do a battery test on with them in the E-Revo uh, later on this week and show you exactly what I've bought. Moving into my hobby room, I've got the uh, Sandyland RC Buggy, which is going to be the 8,000 subscriber prize giveaway. So if you're not entered that competition, then uh, please do look through my videos, find it, and uh, enter online. I'll put a link to it below the video if I get a chance. It's, so the main reason I've come in here, though, is to show you this. It's a WPL C14 four-wheel drive crawler. Solid axles, lock diffs on it, lock going for it. This is the ready to run version. Why am I showing you this? Well, it's because I've also bought a kit version of it, which I'm building up in the evenings. Uh, I've got, uh, you, you do, it does come with a motor and a servo, but other than that, you do need all your own electrics to go with it. So that's a little project I've got to uh, keep me busy in the evenings this week. So there we are. That's my weekend workshop over with. Now, I have glued these tyres in place that fell off in last week's video, comedy style, on the Armour Raider uh, XL. I have got a speed run set up with a Castle 5700 kV motor installed in my Traxxas Vortec, which will fit in the Armour Raider XL. I'm wondering about testing it with these tyres, maybe on 4S, because the Armour Raider is nice and lightweight, and that Mamba X ESC is rated up to 6S, although the motor's only rated up to 3S. I'm thinking, the Raider will take that running on 4S without the risk of burning things out. How fast will it go? That's what I am wondering. A little bit of effort we've got to do it, so what do you think? Should I do it, girls and girls? Anyway, please have your say in the comments section below the video. Hope you liked this weekend workshop. Uh, if you did, then please do subscribe and by all means, share with friends. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the circle image to subscribe. Thanks for watching. It helps if you want to turn on the notification button next to the subscribe button.